Okay, so our second topic then in the process of pharmacokinetics is the actual process itself. Um, previously, we talked about the forms in which medications come and the routes or the pathways in which they enter the body. But now we're going to start looking at what happens when the medications actually do get into the body. So the objective by the end of this unit would be that you could explain the processes that go along with pharmacokinetics. The reason we say processes is because there are actually four phases of pharmacokinetics. The first phase is that of absorption. In absorption, this is where the medication is actually entering into the bloodstream. So depending on the form that you've taken, um, it may come in quicker or slower. And depending on the route in which it has entered the body, it may go into that bloodstream faster or slower. But at the point where it starts entering the bloodstream, it is now being absorbed and it's in the process of absorption. Once it gets into the bloodstream, naturally, it's going to get carried throughout the entire body. That is the process of distribution. The medication is now carried throughout the entire body to be delivered to the tissues and the cells. Once it gets to the tissues and the cells, the medication needs to be chemically altered into a form in which the medication is going to, or the medication is going to be utilized by the cell. This alteration of the medication is called its metabolism. So it is metabolized by the cells. It is taken in, it is chemically altered, and then utilized. Once that process is finished, the cells, the tissues, the body no longer need that medication. So what do they do with it? they got to get rid of it. The process of excretion is that of getting rid of what the body no longer needs. Now the main organs that are used for excretion are that of the liver and the kidneys. So we're talking about the gastrointestinal tract and we're talking about the urinary system as the two main systems of excretion for the body. In the urinary system, the kidneys are the main organs. They filter out the medication and then the medication is excreted through the urine. In the gastrointestinal system, the medication um, goes through the liver, and then once the liver is done filtering it out, it is passed along to the intestines, into the feces, and then it's excreted from the body that way. Now I said those are the two main ways it's excreted. But there are other ways. Can you think of a few other ways in which medications are excreted from the body? Take another look here, um, more visual of the process of pharmacokinetics. Um, what you'll see is the medication in its form, here oral or parenteral, is absorbed into the bloodstream. It travels through the bloodstream and is distributed to the body. Once it gets distributed to the cells, it gets metabolized, and then it's going to get excreted and it gets excreted through the two primary areas, which would be the kidney, the urinary system, and the feces and the GI tract. Now, earlier I'd asked you to kind of think of some other ways, though, it is excreted. Um, some of the other ways that we excrete medications would be that of through the respiratory system. We can breathe them out through perspiration. Sometimes medications come out in sweat. Other common ones are in the saliva and in the breast milk. And particularly keeping breast milk in mind because we often need to coordinate medication administration 
along with feeding times in nursing mothers so we minimize the amount of medication being passed along to infants. So at this point, then you should have a good handle on those four pieces that become the processes of pharmacokinetics.